Hello, welcome to Weed and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. This is day 12, y'all. The end of day 12. Congratulations for making it to the end. I pray that you've been concentrating. I pray that you've been reading the word. I pray that you've been meditating on the word, praise God, and that you've been eating healthy. Hallelujah. The Lord is so good by bringing us closer to him. He's drawing us, y'all. And it's so it's so magnificent to be able to see the differences in who personally I was before the fast and who I am now. I'm learning to consecrate to the Lord a little differently uh, from what I normally do, praise God. And I think that's a beautiful thing of transition, but also transformation. And I pray that you're having uh, moments of transformation. I pray that you're having experiences and encounters with the Lord in different ways so that you are also elevating in the spirit of God. Praise God. If you are new to the channel, welcome. This is a place where we hear from the Holy Spirit. We are moving into things of God. We are obedient. We are consecrating because this is the year of consecration. Praise God for Weed and Barley. I've been saying this uh, the entire year. Praise God. And um, it's so funny. Now I'm hearing more and more people around uh, uh, prophets and pastors, you know, talk about consecration. And so, you know, I think it's a beautiful thing because this is what the Lord is calling us to do. He's calling us to yield to his spirit. And I pray that you're obedient to the yielding. Hallelujah. Because this is the only way y'all that we're, we're literally going to make it through in Jesus mighty name, because God is so good. All right, y'all. Hallelujah. We're going to go ahead and dive into this word. So the Lord was letting us know earlier that we need to go ahead. In verse 30 of chapter 19 says, saying, go into the village ahead of you. There, as you enter, you will find a coat tied on which no one yet has, has ever sat. Untie it and bring it here. So when you look closely at this, you see that the Lord is telling the disciples to go ahead. And then he told them what they will find, praise God. So he gave them insight on what they would see. And then he told them, praise God, what to do. There were instructions in this. They had to untie it and bring it here, praise God. Many of you are receiving messages from the Lord for you to do something. I pray that you're obedient to do exactly what he says, because what's going to happen is the return that comes from an obedient child is great. Hallelujah. The Lord has a particular position for you. He has not missed out on you. Do you understand? Hallelujah. But you have to be in order in that position. You can't just reach that position and do what you want to do. You have to follow the order of the Lord if you want to see signs, miracles, and wonders. If you want to have experiences with angels, understand what I'm saying? Because they're all about God's will. They're going to protect you. Yeah, you're important. Hallelujah. But they're all about the will of God and you conducting it, you performing it, you producing. You understand? Hallelujah. Because you have a responsibility in the will of God to conduct yourself accordingly, right? And so the Lord is letting us know today, praise God, that we are to go ahead in his word. We are to go ahead in consecration. We are to go ahead in yielding, y'all. We are to go ahead in the promises that he has given us. We are to go ahead and build that business. We are to go ahead, hallelujah, and go ahead and tie that knot, praise God. We are to go ahead and walk that path that God has given us. We are to go ahead and move, move across country, move, move to another state, praise God. The Lord just showed me another state. Hallelujah. We are to go ahead and do this thing. Understand what I'm saying? You are to go ahead and do it. Praise God. The Lord is saying, hallelujah, pack your bags. Praise God. Those who know that they are supposed to move and God has already told you where you are to go. Praise God. Hallelujah. Go ahead and move. Some of you are being told that you're going to move and you have to pack. You don't know where you're going. Praise God. You like Abraham. Hallelujah. You know, you just going to go to the land where God shows you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Be obedient and go. Hallelujah. You don't have to know where the destination is. Just know that it's good in Jesus mighty name. I'm telling you this today, praise God, because the Lord has impressed upon me that many of us need to go ahead. Let's not worry about whether we know something or not. Let's just do it. Y'all praise God, because this is the time where we are yielding to him and his spirit is moving and he's getting things done. And the way that he's getting things done is through the people who are obedient and willing to follow his lead. Praise God. And I'm telling you right now, he has given us dominion over this earth. Praise God. Hallelujah. To subdue it in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that you're standing in your rightful position to do what God is calling you to do. Go ahead. Hallelujah. And he will let you know what it is that you will find in Jesus mighty name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for that message. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For being our salvation. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for helping us along in Jesus mighty name. We're going to go ahead and go to first 
1 Corinthians for our communion. I pray that you have your cracker and you have your grape juice. I am prepared today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we are on chapter 11. We're going to start at verse 23. And this is 1 Corinthians. And it reads, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Thank you, Lord. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Thank you. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord is an, in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But a man must examine himself, and in doing so, he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats, the, eats and drinks eats and drinks judgment to himself if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick in a number of sleep. Thank you, Father God, for communion. Thank you, Father God, for bringing us together today, oh Lord God. Thank you for this fellowship, oh Father God, breaking the bread, hallelujah, and drinking, hallelujah, this blood covenant, oh Father God. We remember you, Jesus. We remember, hallelujah, hallelujah, how you died on the cross, oh Lord. We remember, praise God, because we break this Bible. We understand, hallelujah. We understand. We may not understand the depth of it. We may not even understand the excruciating pain you went through, but we understand, hallelujah, that you paid the full price for us. We understand, hallelujah, that we can only be saved through you. We understand, hallelujah, that we are reconciled back to the Father through you. We understand, hallelujah, that we are to go ahead only because you told us, hallelujah. We understand that where you're telling us to go, that you have sent us there, praise God, so that we are protected, hallelujah, to do your will in the mighty name of Jesus. We understand that you have all authority. We understand that you have all power, praise God. We understand that we serve you. You don't serve us, hallelujah, even though, hallelujah, the Bible teaches us that you are a servant, praise God, and you will serve us, hallelujah, because even you dying on the cross, you were serving us, hallelujah, but Lord God, may we serve you today, may we give back that servitude today, may we showcase you today, may we glorify you today, oh Lord God, may we love on you today, hallelujah, may we consecrate to you today, putting you first, putting you as the only choice that we could ever make in our lives, hallelujah, at the top of the list in the mighty name of Jesus. May we draw into you today in Jesus' mighty name, O oh Lord God. As we go forth, O oh Lord God, cover us, O oh Lord. Cover us, hallelujah, in your shadow, O oh Father God. Be our fortitude, O oh Lord God, our strong and mighty fortress, O oh Father God. Be our, hallelujah, high tower in the mighty name of Jesus. Shining the light on our path, letting us know exactly where we are to go, O oh Father God. Keeping us out of harm's way, O oh Father God, hallelujah. We thank you for your goodness, O oh Lord. And we thank you for keeping your hand on our shoulder, O oh Father God, as we are moving in this realm called earth. Hallelujah. And thank you for navigating the realm of the spirit for us. In Jesus' mighty name, we love you, we honor you, we trust you, we trust you, hallelujah, we put our confidence in you, Jesus, hallelujah, and we thank you for all that you've done and you continue to do in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray that you are blessed. I pray that you receive the word of the Lord. I pray that you move in the things of God. I pray, hallelujah, that you're walking with your head high, knowing that God has chosen you, that he loves you, that he hasn't forgotten about you, that he chose you for this time. Praise God. I pray right now, hallelujah, that you are so strong in the Lord because he has strengthened you. Praise God. And you continue to intercede. You continue to stand up. Praise God for your family and pray. You continue, hallelujah, to stand on the promises of God. Don't let them go in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't let doubt come in and steal your joy. Don't let doubt come in and steal your promise, praise God, that you are being obedient to the Lord because you know he is true. Hallelujah. I pray right now that each and every one of you will stand firm on the word of the Lord, praise God, knowing who he is and knowing who he is to you most importantly, praise God, because that's your identity in Christ. 
When you know who he is, praise God, you know who you are. That's your identity in Christ, praise God. Hallelujah. Believe it and receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Know that I love you with the love of Christ. Hallelujah. And I pray many blessings over your life in Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed in all your ways. And I'll see you back here at 6 a.m. for day 13, y'all. We're getting it. Day 13 in, G in Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed and ready. Hallelujah. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Amen.